Dennis is already mowing, so I don't even know if you can hear me. But I'm out here to help him because I got to clear around this rock wall so he knows where he can mow. This is my garden. This is why I'm embarrassed. That's how bad it is. And you know I don't embarrass easily. Well, it's better. The rock wall is revealed. You can see my pile of weeds here. Dennis is going to mow, and it's a mulching mower, so I'm going to let him mulch those unless he tells me he needs them gone. But here we go. I got a lot of weeds out of there. I revealed my two Stelladoro lilies, which were not thriving in that, as you can imagine. Obviously, there's a ton of work to do. But you know me. I'm done. But it was progress. Who knows? If I do this like a little bit every day. Yeah, right. But there's this current status of the front garden. Good morning. It's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. Hey, Pearl. Pearl's out here. Maisie's back from the groomer. She's looking good. Dennis did bring me an Americano in bed, so this is not my first coffee, but... Good morning. Oh. Happy sixth pot anniversary to us. Six years ago today, I did my first podcast. Crazy, right? The only reason I remembered that was because my cousin sent me a picture that was taken six years ago today when, when Dennis and I and my cousin Angela and her husband Michael did a little wine tour up in Pennsylvania together and had a lovely, lovely afternoon and evening. And I was all dressed up and I had makeup on my face and I'd been, and I had been to the New Jersey Sheep and Wool Show earlier in the day and met up with the Crafty Toads. I met the Crafty Toads, I think, for the first time and um, told them how inspired I was by their podcast and I was thinking of doing it and they said, do it, do it. So I did. Six years ago. Feels like six years since I've done my last podcast, however. This is Maisie's new look. Yeah. This is your new book on yeah, yeah. So anyway, happy anniversary to us all, and maybe I'll do a podcast. I have this little niggling idea in my head that when it gets cooler and more like sweater weather, I might feel more like knitting. I do love to wear my sweaters. I do love to wear my sweaters, and. Um, oh, I thought maybe Gabby hadn't cut the hair off the bottom of her ears, but she obviously did. Anyway, I um, am hoping to get some of my knitting mojo back when the weather cools off a little bit. It's actually lovely out here. Uh, I was going to show you the gizmo and I forgot. It's 68 on the tree. Well, it's probably 70 now, but um, it's really very nice. So... Oh, and I see one yellow jacket. Dennis discovered where the yellow jacket, where the yellow jacket nest was yesterday. So we spent a good part of yesterday poisoning yellow jackets. But there are still a few around, so we will see what we can do but they drove us in the house the other night when we were having our dinner out here and made it very unpleasant and then the next day Dennis discovered that the nest is right there at the corner of the fence so we've been poisoning bugs and we have a bug apocalypse but if they put that in the woods we wouldn't have cared so I do feel a little bad about that but anyway, so we still have a few. They weren't, they weren't home when we took care of things, I guess. So anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, so I'm hoping that I get my mojo back as the weather gets cooler. Um, cause 
I love wearing my sweaters. I love the memory of my knitting, but it's been weeks since I've done anything. Literally weeks. So, tomorrow night I have my crafting with Christy, so I'll work on my stitching at least. And we got to meet because I haven't talked to her in a couple of weeks, and I'm way behind on my drink shelf. Of course, I could do my drink shelf without talking to her. But the last few Sundays have been very busy, stressful for me. So by the time 9 o'clock my time comes around, I'm like too tired because we had dinner party and then Aura was in the hospital and you know so tomorrow is planned to be very calm around here we're gonna stop over at Aura's on our way to dog walk today because I peeled and sliced some of our gorgeous tomatoes Carol the my tom big giant tomatoes are yellow so I don't know what kind I planted but they're yellow and so I'm bringing Aura some sliced and fresh tomatoes from our garden because she will love that. See how she's doing. And, um, but other than that, Dennis is mowing the front. If I get some ambition, I might go back out there and try to do more in that garden because obviously, I mean, I was only out there 15 minutes. And if that and made big progress because that grass is so high. I mean, I do have to lean over because I got to grab it from the bottom, but it comes right out. The ground is nice and moist. And so 15 minutes made a big difference. And it's very satisfying, although I'm going to have a little bit of a backache when I'm done. But, you know, I've got a ibuprofen. <laughs> It had gotten to the point where I was embarrassed by that. And I don't embarrass easily with my garden, as you well know. The only saving grace is that garden is well away from the road. So you got to kind of be looking at my house to see it. But if you notice it, it I mean, if you notice the house, you're going to be like appalled. So, And I just told myself as I was cleaning out that garden, if I get this garden all weeded, I might just treat myself to a few chrysanthemums because it's fall coming and chrysanthemums are now um, on sale at the plant places and I could plant a few pretty chrysanthemums in the front of that and it would transform what it used to look like into something really lovely for the fall. I'm a little inspired by that so I might actually do that. I hope I do but I'm making no promises making no promises so yesterday was Friday I didn't do much I didn't I didn't paint my sketch but I'm not gonna be much on Twitter today so if I'm not on my phone very much I have more time <laughs> so I might weed I might paint my picture and do some other sketching stop by auras finish off the bees, the wasps, yellow jackets, whatever they're called, and uh, and enjoy some time on the deck. It's going to rain. I think we have, or it's going to be cloudy for the next couple days, and then after Wednesday, it's clear blue skies for a week, according to the forecast. So anyway, um, yeah. I might go back and do some weeding. I think Dennis has just cleaned up all those weeds. I was thinking maybe we could mulch them because it's a mulching mower, but I think the pile was too big. So I'll go make a bigger pile, but I'll bring the wheelbarrow over so they don't go just on the grass. But I definitely cleared that well for him for his mowing issues. So there you go. And uh, he's going to soon start mowing the front. It's still wet. The grass is still pretty wet, but yeah. So anyway, I think I'm going to go. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe and stay sane.